Hi everyone, it's Beck here from Hello My Name Is Beck, popping in today just to show you a loaded envelope that I've made for my friend Lizzie. It is still in the mail, I have a feeling everything's slowed down because of the crisis we're going through at the moment. So this is a loaded envelope that I've created um, just by folding a 12 by 12 piece of paper around. Um, so I folded it on the diagonal, I've pulled down one of the flaps to the centre and I'm just marking here with my ruler 5.6 inches off of each corner and I'm just using an embossing tool here just to score a straight line um, as to where I'm folding in my envelope. I know this looks weird but it creates two pockets and also I then create a third tiny tiny little pocket on the front of, of the loaded envelope. So you could never just use this as an envelope itself, it's literally just a happy mail. Um, so I just manipulate the front here to create a, a tiny tiny envelope. I have a feeling that people have made little tiny envelopes like this um, before, like the di uh, diamond one where you flip, fold the flip down. Um, so then I come along with my double sided tape and um, put it all together. Um, it's just a little tiny creation that I've made and it's an extremely quick happy mail um, to be able to use um, if you're just using a few bits to send to your pen pal. Um, it's really really good if you um, just want a couple of pockets um, and it's flat. It's a good flat mail. So um, Lizzie and I were talking the other day over Messenger and we, um, my husband, he works at Australia Post and I have a Australia Post gauge where it's an envelope gauge so you can put envelopes through and uh, Lizzie would like one of those and um, I did mean to send one to her absolutely ages ago and completely forgot about it so um, I made one recently for her so that she can um, test her larger letters through the gauge. Um, so you can see there that that was the two pockets that my hand was going into um, just to show you that there is two levels there because obviously that pattern paper on that pink isn't showing you. In a little minute um, after I look at these stickers um, I do get a washi tape so that I can define the um, two pockets there so that you can see where they where they are when all the goodies are out. Also Lizzie um, really really likes using girls on her happy mail like um, printed girls on her happy mail so um, I recently purchased some polka doodles girls and I sent Lizzie um, some uh, black and white versions of of the girls but I've also taken the time to color some in for her because I know that she's she's not going to want to spend the time coloring in these girls she probably would prefer an image that you could print out um, that's already colored so I've taken the time over the last few evenings to to color them in and um, include them in this mail so I'm just using these white letters from Coco Vanilla, or their alphas, sorry, um, to spell out Lizzie's name across the top. And I have a sticker there on the right hand side, which is the pink sticker saying, um, love that smile. So. So what I wanted to do with this loaded envelope is um, make a, a secure pouch for my polka doodles girls to go into um, because this is just a quick happy mail for Lizzie. Um, I sent her something, a large one recently and so I wanted to reply because we um, do send regularly to each other and um, I wanted to be able to include a large letter in response to her large letter that she sent me in February. So
You actually see me um, writing that le letter on here. Um, I don't put you through the the. This is the gauge, actually. Sorry, I'll just let you know that this is the large letter gauge and the small letter gauge, and these are the polka doodles girls that I'm sending. So I'll just show you each one. This one's my favourite, and then I quite like this girl, but I cut it a bit wonky. So hopefully Lizzie can um, fussy cut these girls out the way she wants for her Happy Mail. Um, I've tried to do a selection of girls with different hair colours and different coloured outfits for Lizzie. I know Lizzie loves blue, so I've tried to um, do some blue tops and some turquoise stuff. Some enamel dots just there for Lizzie. I know that she'd love those because they're the matte enamel dots. And then I found these buttons at Spotlight and I thought she'd really like these. They're little rainbows with clouds on the side. And oh yes, some just some bunny stickers. Easter's on its way. So <laughs> Lizzie could either use these for envelope decorating or... Talking of envelope decorating, I actually do show you as well the um, the envelope and, and the letter that I create for Lizzie. Uh, like I was saying, I don't put you through the whole entirety of me writing the letter. I do cut that out of this video, so you just see the beginning part. And then you see how many pages I en end up writing. So I love these bunny images. There's just some cuteness here, um, so donut, the umbrella upside down, um, holding flowers in front of them. I like the one with the paper aeroplane because I think that represents Happy Mail quite well. But I put the one with the donut on the front just because it had that pink. Um, so I'm just popping those together just to measure. So th this is just some paper that wrapped um, one of the kitchen rolls that we have. And so, and it says, who gives a crap? So I have put it in with Lizzie's stuff because sometimes I feel that um, Lizzie likes that saying of who gives a crap. <laughs> These are some Kiki K letter writing papers. Um, I just chose one of each design from this pad and I put um, them just here in, in Lizzie's pack. I think she'd love these letter writing papers. Um, I've chosen a paper here to start the letter and it's surrounded with a purple border and bananas all around it. And my, I'm just writing here, um, the world's gone bananas. <laughs> so, and then you see me skip forward one, two, three, four, five pages later. That's a nice big letter for Lizzie. I'm um, just going to pop that into an envelope now. And then I think after this I start... Um, decorating her envelope uh, I just wanted to give you the whole um, idea of my happy mail here my happy mail process um, it's not just creating the happy mail it's writing a really really long letter for the people that I send to and um, I like to even decorate the envelopes that come through it just gives that person um, a smile when they see the envelope it gives them a touch of joy knowing that on the way home after going to the post office or um, opening up their mailbox that they see an envelope that um, needs some attention straight away. It means that they know that they need to make a couple of minutes in their day to um, to take and, and open this up and enjoy it, relax. It's a touch of self-care I think we all need, a touch of happy mail coming through the door and um, having that few minutes to um, open it up. I actually am saving a, a Happy Mail that I received on Wednesday from Emma Lou, and um, she sent it to me, oh, it was the end of February it was dated, um, but I'm, I'm patiently waiting to open it in front of the camera. It's Saturday morning today, and I, I do intend to do it when I have some sunlight. At the moment, um, the sun's just rising. So, but this is the only time of day I can do a voiceover that um, doesn't have lots of noise in the background. 
So I like to do my voiceovers nice and early. I'm just using loads and loads of different stamps to um, decorate this envelope. I've really enjoyed doing stamping on envelopes recently. Um, Lizzie actually donated, um, she was going to throw them out, but um, she's donated loads and loads of stamps to me and um, our friend Mary recently. And so Mary and I sat and we worked out which ones we wanted each. And so I've ended up with loads of Happy Mail stamps which say hello, hugs and kisses, smile, um, uh, thankful for you. Um, and so, yeah, a lot of these are Lizzie's stamps that I'm using to decorate her own envelope with. So I'm sure she'll recognise a lot of them. Um, the typewriter is one that I've had and the letter, uh, the note paper on the, the left hand side is one that I've, I've had previously. But yeah, a lot of the other ones are, are Lizzie's. I think she'd uh, quite like to know that I'm using them regularly. Um, so yeah, it was definitely good that she didn't throw them out. I will always take seconds if people are getting rid of uh, crafting stuff. <laughs> I think that's why I hoard lots and lots of crafting stuff. But it always comes in useful. There's always something that you can do with the um, things that people are throwing away. So that one there says, I'm thankful that there is you in the world. Ah, oh, yes, and I've got um, another one there from Lizzie that's a paper aeroplane, once again, happy mail themed. This one says, hello there, it's just an arrow. A banner across. Sorry that the envelope is going off screen here. I didn't realise that at this stage. But I pull it up in the end to show you the overall effect. So that's that paper aeroplane. Absolutely love that stamp. I think um, I might have to do an, a whole envelope of um, paper aeroplanes. And maybe do some, some trails off of them and make them fly around the envelope so yeah I've just brought that envelope up it's um, just one of the big A4 envelopes so that I can fit the letter gauge in for Lizzie I'm hoping that this one hasn't been battered on the way to um, where she lives in New South Wales um, and I can't believe it's taken so long I posted this on Monday and it's Saturday and she still hasn't received it so I apologize Lizzie you actually get to see the making of, of your happy mail before you um, before you receive it. So just writing out Lizzie's name just here. Yeah, the video will be ending soon. Um, let me know what you think of this happy mail. Um, let me know what you guys are doing. I'd love to know in the comments. Um, take care. Stay safe, everyone. Stay home and look after each other. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.